let's take a look at how we would solve a series circuit like the one shown at the right. We're asked to find the current flow through the 30 ohm resistor, let's call that R1. The power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor, let's call that R2. And the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor, let's call that R3. And we can find all of this information by making our VERP table. And we start out by listing all of our circuit elements, R1, R2, R3, and the total as our row headings. And then for our columns, we have our voltage in volts, our current in amps, our resistance in ohms, and our power dissipated in watts. From this, we can set our table. And then our first step is going to be filling in what we already know about the table. So right away, I can label the values of resistance for R1, that must be 30. For R2, that must be 20. And R3, that must be 10. I also know the total voltage in the circuit is 24 volts because that's the voltage of our battery, our potential difference of our battery. Next, we can figure out the total equivalent resistance because for a series circuit, the equivalent resistance, we just add up the individual resistances. R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus however many resistors we have. In our case, our equivalent is going to be 30 ohms plus 20 ohms plus 10 ohms for a total of 60 ohms, which I can fill in on my table. Once I know that, well, in that total row, I know voltage and I know resistance, I can find current using Ohm's law. I equals V over R, or 24 volts over 60 ohms, is going to give me a current of 0 0.4 amps. So that means I have 0 0.4 amps traveling in my circuit, and since there's only one current path, I must have 0 0.4 amps everywhere in my circuit going through each of the elements, so I can fill that in, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. Well, if I look here, if I know I and R for each of those circuit elements, by Ohm's law, V equals IR, I can figure out the potential difference across the, uh, across the elements. Just multiply the current times the resistance. When I do that, I am going to find out for the first resistor, V equals IR, 0.4 amps times 30 ohms is going to give me 12 volts. For R2, 0.4 amps times 20 ohms is going to give me 8 volts. And finally, 0.4 amps times 10 ohms for R3 is going to give me 4 volts. So the sum of the potential drops, 12 plus 8 plus 4 equals 24. That works. Now we can fill in power, and I could get that from a number of equations. Power equals IV or I squared R, or V squared over R. Any of them will work. For now, I'm just going to multiply I times V. They all give me the same answer and find out that the power dissipated in R1 is 4.8 watts. In R2, I get 3.2 watts. In R3, I get 1.6 watts. And for the total, 24 volts times 0.4 amps gives me 9.6 watts. And of course, the individual powers dissipated by R1, R2, and R3 should add up to 9.6. So 4.8 plus 3.2 plus 1.6, yes, that equals 9.6 watts total. So now all I have to do is answer the questions I was originally asked. Find the current flow through the 30 ohm resistor. Well, the current through our 30 ohm resistor, right from our table, is 0 0.4 amps. For B, Find the power dissipated in the 20 ohm resistor, right from our VERP table, that must be 3.2 watts. And finally, we're asked to find the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor. So from my, from my VERP table, I look at the 10 ohm resistor, R3, and find the voltage drop is 4 volts. So using my VERP table, I have answered all of the questions required for this series circuit.